So I'm more of the camp that I really miss the office. I think nothing beats meeting face to face and really embracing each other, understanding each other better and having this creative juice flowing. We're creating it, absolutely. You have to earn your spares at the beginning, do all the, um, the hard work, and then eventually, once you build up that experience, that talent, um, the competency, the ability, then eventually you know, you'll, you'll move further in your career, the money will follow at some point. I believe I'm both finding my dream job as well as creating at the same time, because I'm doing what I love doing, and at the same time, I get surprises every day, and for me, that's finding my dream job. As an entrepreneur, the joke in town is often that like my job changes every three, two to three months. I have to understand what the need of the company is and how do I prepare myself for that role. I've always wanted to do something that contributed to the environment in a positive way that was more mindful kind of like conscious living, not something that I do just to earn a salary or earn a living. Having that belief that what we're doing every step of the way is, is creating incremental change um, on solar deployment, is tackling or kind of like chipping away at the problem of climate change. Um, I think that motivates a lot of like my team members as well as me to, to kind of like get up every day and, and feel excited about what we're doing. Make sure when people come into our venue, we make it feel like it's there in our home and we really go that extra effort to look after them. Uh, there's a lot of blind spots and things that is really not taught in school. Uh, it's this when we collaborate and interact with our team members, our colleagues, our customers, our employees. Uh, it's this where we start to realise hey, there's actually a lot, a lot more things that I need to know about. They may not be able to give you the result that you want on day one or even day 100, but when you continue to build that relationship um, as a long term, it's something that will definitely be fruitful in the next seasons to come. First step is always come together uh, to talk about things, uh, to, to take that step, take the initiative right, uh, uh, to converse. And that's when the conversation starts. That's where ideas come about, opinions come about, and that's when we really start to get to know the characters who are in the room. And then from there, I think the opportunities will come about uh, through the relationship that has been built. In this fast-changing business environment, career is no longer a ladder. Because there are times where the role will disappear, Organisations will also disappear, teams will disappear. And therefore, the new concept of career as a jungle gym. Think about what's going to keep you growing and motivated and give you a pathway for the next 20 years and that's going to give you the energy to keep coming to work. Don't allow others to define who you are as a person. Dynamic. The word community experience come to play. Where people can choose where they want to work, how they want to work, and uh, who they want to work with and what type of projects they want to work for. The new work environment is going to be more collaborative and there's a need therefore to work across different functions with different people, probably across different cultures and time zones. But I think some fundamental things always remain the same, right? The ability to work with others and collaborate, to have people's interests at heart, to want to create uh, impact in the world, positive impact. I hope that we will look We'll be searching for meaning in our work. I hope that we that youths will be searching for more authentic connections with one another. And rather than always, um, rather than merely pursue dollars and cents, perhaps we will be looking for connection and we will be looking for meaning and purpose instead.